Hello and welcome to 996 The Howl for the Uninitiated. This is an unedited YouTube vlog discussing everything Arizona Cowboys. What a night, what a what a game. A Shane Dome retirement jersey night. Uh, just a few things about Dome. Such a great role model and idol for young people and, and pretty much everyone in the world. He's a great human being, uh, great morals, raised up, raised right. Uh, compassionate, genuine guy. Uh, he's what everyone wants to be and aspires to be. And it's great to, you know, congratulate him and give him the spotlight for once, even though he hates it. Such a great, humble, and modest guy that uh, we could all learn to uh, to be like. So uh, off that energy and off that emotion, the guy is going to a battle with the Goliath. Winnipeg Jets who take a one nothing lead lead early in the game and the Jets came out flying um, They really controlled the pace for the first 10 minutes. I would say um, Patrick line with an amazing goal and then Brad Richardson quickly ties it up and from there From that point the Coyotes just took over the game played to their system hard on the puck chipping pucks in deep using their speed, great transition play from uh, their breakouts into the neutral zone, hitting that player with speed. And um, they've been doing that pretty much 90% of the games for the past two months. Couple of bad games they've had here and there, Columbus, Dallas, St. Louis, but uh, those are really far and in between now. And the Cowboys are becoming such a consistent team and you can see every time they play, just they play their system right. They know the game plan. They know how to execute. And these players are just thriving. And they lost in Kraus with two huge goals. Uh, one against Vancouver. And then another one against the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, it's great to see these young players actually show up in huge moments. And Josh Archibald, too, who got the empty netter against Winnipeg, just unreal the past month, month and a half and that line of Kraus, step on Archibald is magnificent it's it's just pure Rick Tockett pure hustle, pure hard, and so much speed Derek Stepan looks like he's 25 out there um, he, he's looking fast with those two guys on his wing, a uh, great all around effort, Alex Galchenyuk I want, I want to talk about him for a second, elite player that the Coyotes needed for so long um, scoring that great shootout goal against Edmonton, scoring that overtime winner, showing elite confidence, elite playmaking skills and just a high level talent that pass to Clayton Keller against Winnipeg was I don't even know how we saw Keller, I saw Keller the moment after he made that pass I, I saw Keller, but the fact that he could had his back towards the whole ice, managed to shoot it through the Winnipeg uh, defender's legs, hitting Keller with so much speed and such a nice shot. Um, Cowies looked really good against Winnipeg, and they have a seven-game home stand, winning the first game. And uh, the schedule is such in favor of the Coyotes. A lot of teams, not even the playoffs, on this upcoming home stand. Plus, you got. Some guys coming back from the injury reserve. Christian Dvorak has played two goal, two games uh, for the Tucson Roadrunners. Both losses, which is strange. I think Tucson is really feeling um, the missing guys that the Coyotes have took from them. But Christian Dvorak will probably play his third game in Tucson Monday night. And then hopefully he gets called up um, later this week. Michael Grabner and Jason Demers are practicing in full practice, so they're on their way back. And uh, that's probably the biggest trade deadline acquisition in the whole league is to get those three guys back at the end of February and just get on a roll and get it going. They're three points out now. There are five points out before this game because Minnesota won in overtime. But they're, they're still keeping pace or... They're in that pack. They're at the top of that, you know, pack of Vancouver and Chicago and Edmonton. So you just got to keep producing, keep getting points, and see what happens. Um, for the trade deadline on Monday, I doubt, I really doubt Shaka does anything, but I'm not a smart guy. I'm taking lessons from Dome there. 
Um, but I think Chaika doesn't want to really rock the boat. And you already have three guys potentially in being ejected into your uh, team. So you don't want to rock the boat so much. You got three new guys rather than played a game in like three to four months. So I, I wouldn't try to add even more new faces. Just, you know, those are some high quality people that are going to come in onto this team in Demers, Grabiner, and Dvorak. So I would hope Chaga doesn't do anything. I heard he was thinking of getting Mike Hoffman, who's a 50-point scorer and a 30-goal scorer and an elite sniper. But I, I doubt Florida would really want to part ways with Hoffman, and they're probably asking a lot. So Chaika Chaika's not one to throw the future away for the now. And the now is still pretty... I'm still skeptical about the Cowboys. I know this is all fun, but... You know, it's going to be so hard for the Coyotes to make that push. A lot of teams are bolstering their teams for that push. And the Avalanche are starting to roll. And Chicago's playing with confidence. And Dallas will probably make another move after Zuccarello uh, had an injury. Um, but but we'll see. I'm just happy to see the Coyotes playing so consistently and with so much desperation and heart and work ethic it's great to watch these games and the fans that crowd uh, against the Winnipeg Jets that was an amazing crowd I haven't seen a crowd like that I've never seen a Coyotes crowd like that um, it was so loud so passionate um, hoping that continues for the seven game homestand and we could talk about Darcy Kemper <laughs> I don't know how he's doing it how a backup goalie is being so solid so consistent and just so confident in his moves and just how he plays. Uh, it's great to watch, great to experience, and I, we're just along for the ride. So let, let's keep it rolling here. That's it for me. What a great night. What a great week. Three straight wins. Let's keep it going. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. I, I hit stop, I didn't hit stop.